Janice Carey is the true definition of a town shipper. Born and raised in Lenoxville, her family has been a staple of the community for over a hundred years. No stranger to our campus, she worked in our library and our summer camps long before becoming a teacher here over 15 years ago. It's even where she met her husband, Bob. An engaged member of our community, she's been involved in all facets of life at BCS since setting foot on Molten Hill. What did you want to be when you grew up? I loved economics and I wanted to be a stock trader on the Montreal Stock Exchange. How did you get involved with Grace Village Visits? Why is it important to you? We used to take a group up to the Grace and they would play games, but this was on an, on an individual basis. To see the students' connection with the seniors, they love the seniors, the seniors love seeing the students, and I just ke think keeping that connection is really important. What topic could you spend hours talking about? Right now, probably the Raptors. My husband is a big basketball fan, and through our long marriage, he's converted me to basketball. What book has had the most significant impact on you? Recently, I've been reading some First Nations books and shared them with my students. Another one is a book called Mississippi 1955, and I think it's important for the students to understand that these were real people, that they had, they're not just names that we hear of like Martin Luther King Jr. or um, Medgar Evers. These are real living, breathing people. So those have a lot of impact on me. Who came up with all these questions? Why did you choose to send your daughter here? I realized that BCS in comparison to some of the options had a lot more to offer to her. And I liked the small classes, I liked the community, and I didn't want her to get lost in a large high school. How do you relax after a hard day at work? I mean, we have a hot tub, but I'm not sure if you want to put that in your video. <laughs> <laughs> my husband would say I'm addicted to my iPad, and I actually have taught my cat to use the iPad. <laughs> Baking, reading, watching mysteries, reading mysteries. What is your favorite part about the Festival of Nine Lessons and Carols? When it's over. <laughs> But no, I love the Festival of Nine Lessons and Carols. In recent years, I've, I've changed it so that the students reading it aren't just reading in English, and it just brings home the fact that um, the Bible isn't just for white Western people, that it's universal. It's a universal message, and it also speaks to the international character of our students. It's a labor of love. Do you judge a book by its cover? Yes, I do. By the front and the back cover. <laughs> I've got an activity I'm going to be doing with my students where one book that we're going to read has all the different book cover variations. So it's like, what can you learn from the different book covers? Yeah, I judge a book by its cover, but not people. How are you involved as a volunteer in cadets, and why is that program important to you? Oh, man. You guys. <laughs> Cadets is important to me because it's the traditional part of BCS, but it also shows us how we evolve because cadets now is not what it was even 10 years ago and certainly not 20 or 50 years ago. I think that shows that the school can adapt, can evolve with the needs of, of our student population. What is one thing you wish you had known when you started your career? You can't know everything when you start. And growing with your career is important. I'm just glad that I can keep learning. I keep learning from my students. I keep learning from uh, conferences and my colleagues. It's more about the process itself. Yeah. Oh, we finished that one. <laughs> Level three. <laughs> oh, boy. What accomplishments are you most proud of? Well, I don't think my daughter's an accomplishment, but I'm very proud of her. What is your teaching philosophy? Yes, it's about communicating material. It's about teaching skills. But I want them to want to learn. Not everybody is, loves English. Not everybody loves to read. But 
I just want them to be excited about learning, about coming into my classroom. If you can get your students to, I guess, look at the world around them in a different light, that's, that's important. Who are your personal heroes? I guess a lot of my heroes would revolve around civil rights movement, uh, people who stood up for what they believed in, who fought, and who were often killed because of that. And I think maybe some of the, we wouldn't call them feminist writers, but Jane Austen and the Bronte sisters, uh, they were certainly women who did what they wanted to do, which was to write picking up the pen and doing something, or standing up for what you believe in. and you know, Those are, I guess, the people that I admire. So, that was my last question. <laughs>